Chapter 7, Transportation Group Supervisor. Hi, 2216. I'm going to go ahead and sign you Transportation Group Supervisor. I want you to sign one of your firefighters to be your scribe. I want you to sign your other firefighter to be the scribe for MedCom. Okay, copy that. Here's your vest and your clipboard. An important assignment for the IC to make early in the incident is the Transportation Group Supervisor. This role requires leadership and organization skills to perform the critical tasks required for this position. The principal duties of Transportation Group Supervisor are to organize tracking and documentation of patients transported from the incident to area hospitals or casualty collection points. The Transportation Group Supervisor must be positioned at the ambulance loading area with the Medical Communications Coordinator. They should be in close proximity to each other to effectively communicate and avoid the unnecessary use of radio communication. If resources are available, the Transportation Group Supervisor should request a scribe early to assist with the documentation. When setting up the transportation area, the Transportation Group Supervisor must consider the best path for rapid ingress and egress of transport units. To optimize patient loading, the use of natural barriers, cones, or banner tape should be used to identify and create a funnel where patients move through. The patient loading area is located at the apex of the funnel. In a coordinated process, the Transportation Group Supervisor will request an ambulance from the Ambulance Staging Manager. As the ambulance moves towards the patient loading area, the Transportation Group Supervisor will contact the triage unit leader or treatment unit leader to request patients for transport to the hospital. The Transportation Group Supervisor will request a destination from MedCom and assign the patients to the transporting ambulance. As a patient moves through the funnel, the Transportation Group Supervisor is responsible for removing the transportation receipt from the patient's triage tag and indicating the patient's acuity and destination. This information, along with the receipt's four-digit patient identification number, is communicated to the MedCom, who will provide report to the base hospital. When considering hospital availability early in the incident, the county's Annex D policy requires that every receiving hospital will accept a minimum of one immediate and one delayed patient, and every trauma center to accept a minimum of two immediate patients. The Transportation Group Supervisor and MedCom will work together to coordinate the transportation of patients that require specialty care, such as a burn patient and pediatric patients. When transporting pediatric patients, it is important to capture the names of the children. The name will then be transferred through the chain of command to the IC liaison, who will assist the families in locating their children.